Can I use Form I-140 to apply for a green card based on employment experience? I can provide you with an overview of the Form I-140, the USA visa process based on employment experience, and some general immigration guidance. However, please note that the information provided here is for general guidance purposes only, and it's always best to consult with an immigration attorney for personalized advice. Form I-140, also known as the Immigrant Petition for Alien Worker, is used to petition for an employment-based immigrant visa. It is filed by an employer on behalf of a foreign worker to establish their eligibility for permanent residency, green card, based on employment. Here is a step-by-step -step overview of the employment-based green card process. Perm Labor Certification Before filing Form I-140, the employer must obtain a certified labor certification from the U. Department of Labor, DOL. This process ensures that there are no qualified U. Workers available for the position being offered to the foreign worker. Form I-140 Submission Once the labor certification is obtained, the employer files Form I-140 with the U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. The form includes information about the employer, the foreign worker, and the job offered. Priority date USCIS assigns a priority date to the I-140 petition, which determines the foreign worker's place in the queue for a visa number. The priority date is based on the date the labor certification was filed, or the I-140 petition if no labor certification is required. Visa availability, the availability of an immigrant visa depends on the foreign worker's preference category, EB1, EB2, EB3, etc. And their country of chargeability. Visa availability is determined by the Visa Bulletin published monthly by the Department of State. Adjustment of status or consular processing, if a visa number is available and the foreign worker is in the U. They may apply for adjustment of status, Form I-485, to obtain their green card. If the foreign worker is outside the U. They must go through consular processing at a U. Embassy or consulate. Please note that this is a simplified overview, and each step has specific requirements and documentation. It's crucial to consult with an immigration attorney or refer to the USCIS website for detailed guidance and up-to-date information. Additionally, the immigration process can be complex and subjective, so it's always recommended to seek legal advice to ensure your specific circumstances are properly addressed. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.